Hello and welcome to Bighorn Woodworks. Today I will be making a steampunk pen. Steampunk is a subgenre of science fiction or science fantasy that incorporates technology and aesthetic designs inspired by 19th century industrial steam powered machinery. Often incorporated into the novels of H.G. Wells and Jules Verne, it has gained popularity with a style and fashion that is both classical and futuristic. Colors like brass, copper, and pewter are prevalent in steampunk, and this pen is no exception. Expertly designed for quality, this pen will catch the eye of any neoclassical enthusiast. When starting with a square block, I like to use a smaller detailing tool that doesn't catch too much edge. I switch over to my Easywood finisher to smooth out the ridges left behind and scrape it down to a nice even shape. <laughs> Using a hacksaw, I cut the piece to its approximate length before drilling the hole for the inserted brass barrel. The wood I am using is from a red oak, the roots of which spent years subjected to ATVs and tractors driving over the top of it. What I started with wasn't very big, but the gnarled root had lots of potential. I began by stabilizing the blank in a wood hardener under vacuum to draw the hardener deep into the pores of the grain. Stabilizing is something I've wanted to try for a while, and I will try to remember to do a video on how I made my vacuum chamber. Turning the barrel of a pen is remarkably simple, as long as you have the proper equipment. Cut to length, each pen has a specific set of bushings. The job of the wood turner is to get the ends to line up with the bushings. Anything you do in the middle is purely artistic. This pen makes a statement in its design alone, so I opted to smooth the barrel to a uniform shape across the surface. Once the shape is established, and just a little proud of the bushings, I will sand it to its final dimension. From here, it is a process of sanding and applying a clear coat of finish. For pens, I prefer to use a medium CA glue. Working quickly, I apply a small amount to a paper towel and quickly rub it across the moving surface. This process will repeat itself as many as 10 times until I feel like the surface can be wet sanded. Because CA glue is a form of plastic, wet sanding it up to 12,000 grit and a final polish using an automotive buffing liquid results in a mirror-like shine. It's a little tough to see in the video, but the buffing compound starts out thick like a hand lotion. Moving back and forth, I want to keep going until I can no longer see any of the polish. Once that is done, I know the finish will be durable to withstand years of use. I like to use my lathe for final assembly. I have a lot of control in how hard the pieces are pressed together, and the simple blocks with a rubber pad offer enough protection that I don't mark the surface of the finished pieces.
Thank you for watching my video. If you'd like to see more, please remember to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will keep making more.